Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next episode of the Apex Show. Today we have a very special episode planned for you. I have a few very important things that I would like to be talking about and uh, you can be prepared for some very insightful thoughts that will change the way how you look at things. Uh, the first first off, again recording this at 9.30 p.m. I'm not sure why this is my favorite time to record, I get in a busy day. And yeah, um, I have a few things that I'd like to talk about building a team because it's, that's a very important topic. And even in the last maybe six or seven months, that's something I've been really focusing on pretty hard. And that's the first thing. And the second thing is about um, just kind of taking action because I really feel that that's it's under not enough people stress it enough how important it actually is. And third, third thing is actually creating, using leverage and creating something that's one of a kind. Uh, so we'll probably get through to that um, a bit later and we'll consecutively. Um, I mean, like one one after the other, just get to the different points. So first off, regarding uh, creating beautiful pieces of art in terms of what you're really creating. Um, when I was just starting out or a few years ago, I was just in a big rush to finish all the projects I've been working on. So I just started doing something and my goal was to finish it as soon as possible. Just, yeah, like I minded quality, but I didn't really, for example, bother going back to the same thing multiple times and just trying to tweak it, improve it a little bit like person by person, just improving it. And that's something what I, what I started actually doing a few months ago, just really starting to aim for high levels in terms of what I'm able to create. And, and what it, what had happened is that actually I've been able to improve the quality of work and majority of the things and even like the levels that I never thought that would achieve or where I thought that some of my natural limits were, I, I was able to get past them very fast. Because it's, it's just about building the identity. It's just one step after the other. It's, it's like many people want to go from zero to 100. For example, they're extremely broke and they want to go and become a like you're just millionaire or whatever, like just extremely, like have a lot of money, do whatever, like for example, get from fat to extremely jacked. But uh, <laughs> like if you are current 20% fat and you want to get to 8% fat, you need you need to go through all the, like the passages, all the points. It's a journey. You first need to be 18% fat, 16% fat, 14% fat. 12% fat, then it will be 10% fat. And in the end, you'll, you'll get to that dream eight if you just don't quit. You can't, there isn't a way how you can go from 20 immediately to eight. And that's the same in business. You first need to, I mean, there might be a certain occasions in terms of venture capital and launching your company on a public stock exchange, but that's a different game. Um, if you're aiming for a normal cash flow, cash flow business, you first start by something, start doing something and you, you level up, you hit your record month, the first month you ever earn, for example, 5k, then there's your next record month when you're in 10k, then there's a 20k month, then there's 100k month, then there's a 500k month, then there's a, then there's a million k month, <laughs> then there's a seven figure month for you. So it's just about elevating your levels and you're setting new standards. And some, sometimes you, it's very important for you to set a new standard. And that's even the reason why in one of the previous podcasts, I really mentioned how important it is to actually just mind the, mind the focus on quality and also kind of just, just being generous to yourself in terms of like just doing the things you always wasn't always wanted to do, whatever they are whatever that like, you really want to do, just, just do that. Even I made a decision. I'm like, just today, I, I kind of very, today was a pretty good day for me, at least from the standpoint of how much work I was able to do. I didn't finish all of the tasks that I prepared for myself. Um, but in terms of, for example, travel, I even made a more ambitious goal. Like just go, let's go and travel to all the countries that are there. Why not? At least I've, the, every single country that I've been to, it gave me something. And I just just want to go there and, and learn as much. Like I just I just love learning. More than anything else, I just love learning new stuff. And yeah, even like different ideas for different kind of startups. Um, and just like the biggest 
benefit I guess I can bring to all of you is just just share these ideas, share this methodology, share this ideology. It's it's not about me becoming like the biggest founder in the world. It's me about me about helping others create their own kind of startups or, or something like that. Because okay, great, I can create a startup. I mean, I I have a lot of projects that I'm working on, so I'm like just that's happening as like consecutive or happening at the same time as I'm doing right this right now or all the other things. But it's also about okay, like I'm able to create impact. I'll definitely create impact in my life, but okay, there are like just hundreds of thousands of people out in the world or even in Slovakia or whatever, choose whichever country you want. And they either don't have the resources, but I, what I really think is that they don't have the resource almost. And they just, they just, they just don't know how to do that. And they just, just, they just don't want to commit fully and just, just burn burn maybe even burn the boat like just go full out and make a commitment that this is actually what you're gonna do and this is what you're gonna create and yeah it's also about being yourself whatever like just pursue the things that you always wanted to do pursue it like just just think about the things that you always wanted to do when you were young and just do them you will get better at them it's it's a right it's just just you'll get better at them you don't even know how much time I spent, like, for example, erasing or trying to remove my uh, Slavic accent, just getting better at, at speaking on, like, microphone. You don't see the training that's behind it, like, even of the camera and of the microphone and everything else. Um, but I'm just, like, doing the thing that I genuinely want to be doing. It's just, okay, I just... Like, like, think about the thing, like, when I was eight years old or seven years old, the only thing I wanted to do was perform. Like just perform and it was always the thing like I always wanted to do some kind of like performance and um, like just just make something great and create something really great I'm a more creative person I would say I'm just not that kind of a like a businessy person like financials are great and I know how to do that but I'm pursuing my curios- curiosity it's um, it's just about being the person who you always wanted to be and just becoming the person you always wanted to be. So I'm going to travel a bit more. So so that's that's regarding quality. And if, even if you look at like all the videos, one YouTuber uploads one video and like just the video has quality. And even like a Netflix or documentary or there are certain books, like the certain books, like for example, Alex or Mosey wrote those two best-selling books, $100 million leads and $100 million offers. And those books are just so high quality that like, they are essentially now wrote and they're just printing and people are like the book is already duplicating the knowledge is there and Alex Hermosi doesn't really need to do anything else than they just promote it it's just selling as crazy so it's just great one wants something really great um something timeless and or even like the statues or these different artists in Rome what they created it's such a beautiful piece of art and standing there for centuries like literally centuries and that's kind of like the piece of art that you can create and even now like we are getting into such a dynamic and such a nice state of the world where you can create so much impact if you really want that if you just just go full out and decides to be yourself and just do all the things that you ever wanted to do in terms of who you want to become it's it's no more about just just doing a basic job you're gonna be replaced are very fast like there are so many tasks are being even like for example i i had a copywriter last year this year i don't have a copywriter why because i don't need them it's just like these things are are not because of strategy pt i mean like these things are moving forward so freaking fast and you don't even see that the rate of speed of acceleration of progress of humanity will get even faster and faster and more crazy Um, by every single year and this will unlock whole new things for all the other people so essentially just do the thing that you always wanted to do just just commit and and go and research like just do the research just just do the freaking work i mean i mean that's it i just can't really say more just just, it's about you whether you want it or whether you don't want it it's just what if you want it you're gonna get there you can see that on on a person like I, i can even like many people come to me and you can 
I don't want to be, be disrespectful or anything else, but you can essentially just see it on the person. It doesn't really matter what's his background, what's his, what are his, his current skills. You can just see the fire in his eyes, whether he really wants it or whether he's just playing that he wants it. And when, when, he, when he really wants it, then you have that kind of a feeling that really nothing can stop him. And, and I like those people. And I, out of the hundreds of people who wrote messages and uh, that I kind of in some way had the previous privilege to coach, only a few of them were really the, really had this kind of a fire. But it's not that one has it one or one doesn't it, that doesn't have it. You can have it. You can create a fire within a minute. And if you're a person like me, if uh, you can ignite a fire within a minute and just keep it burning for years. It's just about you, how fast you make decisions. It's about how fast you get rid of the stuff that's holding you back. It's just about you. It's about having the hard conversations with all the people in your life and just going for the thing that you want the most. I guess life is too short to be doing the thing that you don't didn't really or you haven't really been built for. You, you just 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 be careful about the shots you take. Imagine you have a like a rifle and you're taking shots but you have only limited ammunition you have only so many bullets in your gun and just just be really sure to aim for the thing you want the most because you have like in terms of life if you really think about it like it, ta it takes at least 10 years to create a career in, in anything like a stable career which means that if you start around 20 you have maybe like three or four really good shots to make something great which is kind of, you need to be really careful about which, which shots you're taking and just, just really align it with what you want the most. You'll never regret it. You'll, you'll never regret being rejected. Like definitely. I've been rejected so many times, but every every single time that I've been rejected, they even, they even gave me more confidence. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because it's about self-identity and it's not about what other people, other people think of you. It's about what you think of you what you as a person think of yourself, that's the, you are, you are the most important person in your life because if there wouldn't be you, then there wouldn't be anyone else. And your self-identity or what you think about yourself really determines what decisions you make and what, what action you take. If you increase your self-identity, then you'll start taking a different kind of action. It's just about making the decisions. I've explained this numerous, numerous times to many people um, in my life and it's it's just about like for example you see a girl and you like her but you don't approach her why because you made a subconscious decision that you're not the person worth worth to be a, like you're, you're not mentally worth it to approach her you're not good enough and like you have the, all these opportunities coming coming at you every single day but it, you're subconsciously just just making the decisions that you don't really take them and how you how we how you just increase your identity, just start doing all the things you ever wanted to do, just be relentless, track your action. It's, there isn't a nice way, there isn't a, like a happy way. You'll need to get through stuff. And when you're going through the stuff, when you're just going through all of the hardships, it feels like the, like the world is falling on you. I, I, I remember this, like I remember, I remember the time that I lost 15K within a period of like two months. Yeah, it was like 15k or maybe two and a half months and i was i was like 18 there or 17 and i remember like it was one of the worst times of my life like i just lost all the money that i had and i i, I like just knew how essentially like just how valuable the money was how hard was it to just just create such a capital and i just blew it off and yeah, it was just, I felt like the whole world was crumbling on myself. And then for three months, I was living in a state of like kind of a, not depression, but I was just like, okay, Jesus, what am I going to do? I just didn't really see a, see an option, how I would get through it. And, and that's kind of like, hey, you just need to persevere. You just need to know and feel and be certain that there's something at the, on the other side that's waiting for you. So those are just short words of courtesy from me to you. 
So that's one thing. In terms of speaking about, um, yeah, so this was this was related to the quality. What were the two other things I wanted to talk about today? Oh. Jesus Christ, you got me here. Mm. Okay, I have it. It's building a team. So in the past few months, I really started to see the difference between the people who just just get very far ahead uh, with their businesses and the people who just stay stuck at a certain level for multiple years. And the biggest difference in, in all of this is, is just building a team. It's not about doing it yourself. Like definitely you can just control everything and try to be very strict, but you just need to get it, give the control to other people because even like most smart people in the world work for other people. They don't work for themselves, which is a great thing. So you can essentially employ them. Every single person has a price. And even in terms of, okay, you hire someone who, who's working for you like for 10K a month, um, so which is like $120,000 salary per year. And it's, it's still a deal. If that person is bringing you 300K every, sing, uh, every single year, that's, that's a profit for you. Uh, so it is like a positive contribution from him. And it's, it's about creating a team. It's the same as like in championships, like when like good teams are winning championships, it's about creating the culture of winners. And in, even in terms of like Amazon and like, look at Amazon, it's a huge company and they have more than one and a half, half million people. And the Amazon wouldn't be a big com a company without people. Microsoft wouldn't be a big company without uh, a lot of people. Apple wouldn't be a big company and changing the world without a lot of people. So you just need to hire people. So yeah, it's like just important, like very know how to sell, uh, be good in sales and be good in terms of hiring people. That's it. And then just have a vision and go change the world. It's not that hard. You just create a vision and, and like, it, it's just entrepreneurship. How I see it right now is, it's just, you can just find an opportunity, find capital, or even if you need capital, if you don't need capital, then it's easier. Like find capital, either you source it yourself or you just find someone who, who gives you the capital to you. You just send him, like just present it to him, like create a compelling business idea. And then you just find the team members who are just working on that. And that's essentially business. So you just, you're like the moderator. You just make the things happen and you're just controlling that the things are, are working. It's the, it's the same thing as if you're, if you're playing football, you just make up your whole team and put the right people in the right positions. And then you just coach them to be the best that they could possibly be in their specific positions. And then, then you just roll with that. And that's pretty much it. It's the same with business. You just create a compelling idea. And it is many times not about just creating a, a special idea out of the blue, but, but just making something better that's actually existing. And one of my ideas, for example, for a great software startup, I, or maybe already told you about it. I'm, I'm very open and sharing my ideas that I have. It's creating a, a kind of a, like sharing app for academic stuff or for different kind of workbooks because workbooks are really great in terms of like, for example, you have a business workbook and there are these different types of, for example, managing human resources and managing employees, hiring employees, but none of them are available in audio format, like not, not audiobooks. And if like my idea would be just to create audiobooks or just some, some kind of app for this, um, in terms of like the people would have, have an option to or like students would have an option to not not read the books because I um, like just read the workbooks, but would rather have have an option to listen to them. Because for me personally, if I listen to something, I remember it way more, way better. And I can just walk, I can be in the gym, and I can be still learning the stuff that actually I'm I'm trying to apply. On the other hand, I just like personally, if I should be reading something, I just don't remember anything from that. I I learn the best by teaching others and and by speaking. And by being actively engaged, I just I just don't re remember anything by reading, uh, from reading. A book. I I remember a lot from listening, and that's the reason why I love audiobooks so much, even podcasts. And, and I really feel that this is the best medium to share your idea and sharing your thoughts with the world and create your own unique impact. So that's thing. I'm not sure why I'm always so. Uh, I I get an idea. I definitely need to go out to India as well, very soon. So there are big travel plans for the next year and. We're gonna make this this thing this thing really happen. So that's about it. And what else did I have? Yeah, essentially just taking action. That was the thing I wanted to talk about. Take action. Take more action. People are waiting for the perfect time. The perfect time never comes. You make the perfect time. You make the perfect time by doing the work that you told yourself you're gonna to do, uh, but you didn't do it. Simple. 
like getting jacked isn't that hard. You just go to the gym for three years straight and you mind what you eat. That's pretty simple. That's simple. Like it's, you do like, there in three, three years, there are like thousand days. So if you do like, let's say 600 workouts or maybe 750 workouts in three years, you're going to be jacked. And in terms of, in terms of eating, like it's okay. I mean, it's pretty simple. You do workouts, like there's a structure, you go and do it. Um, for me, it's, I don't even think about it anymore. It's just, okay. I just go and I, just, it's just normal for me. Whether I'm working out six days a week, uh, currently I'm working out between five to six times a week, very short workouts, 30 minutes, I'm done. It just gives me the pump, it gives me the energy and go. It's the same with anything else. It's about, okay, if you do the thing, if you don't do the thing, if you just make the call, if you don't make the call, it's, it's simple as that. And in terms of the best people in the world, they just focus on the best, on the thing that they're best at. And you need to do the same. Find one thing that which you're the best at and, and then just go well in. So that's great. Um, actually, we are currently planning our live event, which should be happening in a one and a half months or like maybe like 40 days, kind of in a ru- uh, rush. So yeah, um, a lot of things are happening right now and I'll get you, I'll get you some more info soon. Um, for the moment, it's, it's everything that I had on you or wanted to share with you today. I need to head back and just do some more work before, um, heading back to sleep. And with that being said, if you have any ideas for like, what you would like me to discuss, just feel free to share, uh, shoot me a message on on Instagram, Jacob slash Barkett, J- Jacob dash Bar- Bartek. And I'll be very happy to just answer any questions that will, c- will be coming my way. So I'm gonna catch you in the next one and have a good day.